to make a roll up crayon holder, print off the template pieces from my website. The link is in the description. And then you're going to use the main fabric, main pattern piece to cut two layers of fabric. I'm using a linen and a quilting cotton, but you can use both quilting cottons if you want. And then cut one interfacing and back your lining fabric with the interfacing. And then I'm going to show you how to cut out the pocket piece um, in order for it to fit on a printable page, I needed to put it on two folds. So to get your fabric ready, you're going to first fold it in half once or just use it from the bolt. So there's a fold right here and then you're going to fold it again. So you have two folds here matched together and one fold here. So you have four layers of fabric and then you're going to place the pocket pattern piece in that corner where the folds meet. So these symbols mean on the fold. And that is how you're going to cut out your pocket pattern piece. And then when you take the pins out, you'll be able to unfold this twice and this will be our pocket that we're gonna fold in half that way and then uh, along with those materials you're also gonna need a fabric marker or chalk a ruler and some twill tape or grass grain ribbon for the tie and then now I'm gonna show you how to put all the pieces together and this crayon roll rolls up for storage and then these ribbon pieces tie in a bow to make a cute little way to store your crayons for a road trip or your backpack. First step is to fold the pocket in half lengthwise. So you have a fold at the top of the pocket where the crayons are going to go in and then line that up with the lining fabric at the bottom in the corners and we'll pin it in place and then we're, we're going to stitch a quarter inch all the way around starting at the side, the bottom, and then the other side. So we're not going to sew the top, but we'll sew the other three sides. Once you've attached that pocket piece, we're going to start drawing lines for our pocket. So each pocket is separated by a line of stitching with back stitching at the top. The first one though needs extra space for the seam allowance of the whole roll. So we're going to add a half inch, so one and a half inches from the edge on the left side is where we're going to mark our first line. And then after that we're going to mark every inch. And then once you've marked all of those, we will stitch over them, starting at the top with a back stitch just like four stitches of back stitching and then come down and then start the next one. Once your pockets are all divided, we're going to take our tool tape or ribbon and cut about 28 inches. So that's 14 twice. So I'm going to measure 14, fold it and cut at 28. And then to make sure that your string doesn't fray that much or your ribbon doesn't fray, we're going to cut it at a 45 degree angle. You can also use fray check to stop that fraying, depending on what kind of ribbon you're using. Some rib ribbons fray more than others. Then we'll fold that in half and we're going to pin it in the middle on this left side here. And then, so we want this to be inside our pouch as we're sewing it, our, our crayon case. So I'm going to put the next fabric face down on top and pin around. And then we're going to sew with a one half inch seam allowance. All the way around, I'm just going to leave about two inches at the top right here for turning. After you've sewn it, trim and clip the corners, clip the 
corners and trim the seam allowance down to about a quarter inch. And then we're gonna turn this right side out through the opening. And once you can grab the ribbon, you can kind of pull it through. After you turn it right side out, give it a really good press and then make sure at the top your opening has the edges lined up so that it'll be straight. And then we're gonna top stitch around the whole crayon case with a 1 8 from the edge. Now you can load up your crayon case by putting the crayons in each pocket. And your crayon roll is all done. These make great gifts, great for back to school and even for road trips.